Why are we here? But first, what's a boot camp? Boot camp is the term that's used in the U.S. for the first military training, intensive military training of recruits. Okay, so uh, if you take a look and you look in uh, Google Images for boot camp, uh, you will find um, pictures like this. Right here is a drill sergeant yelling at the recruits. Okay, and here are the uh, recruits standing in um, a nice, precise line. All right, so we use boot camp as a shorthand for an intensive, immersive, reformative, transformative experience. Okay, and the idea of a boot camp uh, has uh, extended out to uh, other areas as well. Uh, right, so uh, here's a slide I found for an innovation boot camp. I have no idea what that is. But really, what's a boot camp about? Boot camp is about remolding the recruit. That's you. Okay. It's about learning discipline and self control. Okay. Learning to master challenging tasks. Right? So uh, here is the recruit. Uh, who has the discipline and self-control to stand at attention while he is being yelled at at close quarters uh, by the drill instructor. And there is the recruit uh, doing push-ups. Okay. And during boot camp, uh, one gets a sequence of more and more uh, challenging experiences. Okay. But the uh, end result of that is personal growth. At the end, you have a proud soldier. Okay. Um, I like to say, you come into my classroom with a mind full of mush, and you will leave it thinking like a computer scientist. That's a, that's a line from an old movie. <laughs> Okay, well, what is the, that's nice. What does this mean for us? Okay, first of all, it means that uh, we are going to learn to write well designed programs, right? We're going to give you a discipline. You don't, you don't just spew out code, don't just spill it out onto the page. We will give you a recipe, let's just say a discipline, for writing well designed programs. You'll learn what questions to ask and what forms the answers might take. But programming, being a computer professional, is not just about writing code. Programming is a people discipline. Okay, It requires people skills. So you will learn how to document your choices, how to explain your programs to others, and how to defend your choices when criticized. Okay. Some of you have, may have had experiences like this in other domains. Others of you may not have. Okay. So we're going to get everybody uh, up to an even standard. Okay. In getting you there, we're going to use certain learning principles. The first and most overriding principle is that you are responsible for your own learning. Okay? This is not undergrad, this is not high school. This is not undergraduate school where you can sit down and listen to a lecture and take a few notes and fall asleep. Maybe just learn to spit back what the professor has told you. Okay, We expect you to be an active participant in your own learning. To that end, we use four principles. 
immersion, active reading, mastering small skills first, and practice makes perfect. So let's take a look at each of those in turn. What do I mean by immersion? In this course, you will work very hard. Okay, the median time on task reported by students on the problem sets is about 20 hours per week. Okay, so budget your time wisely. Okay, by working so hard, you will forget. You will be so immersed in this new programming technique and new analysis technique that all of your old habits will just fade away. Okay. Yes, you will dream about this course. <laughs> okay. If you aren't dreaming about this course, you aren't working hard enough. Next principle, active reading. Reading is not a passive activity. Okay, when you read, when I ask you to read a section of the textbook, I expect you to read every word. I expect you to read in pencil, with pencil in hand. I think of reading, you should think of reading as a conversation between you and the author. Okay, write down your questions as you read. If you don't have any questions, you haven't read carefully enough. When you come across terms that you don't, haven't seen or don't understand, go out and find what they mean. Okay, we will not be spoon feeding you. And last, do some of the exercises. Now in the book, there are a lot of exercises. You don't have to do all of them. You don't have time to do all of them, but do some of them, okay, so that you get some idea of what they are talking about, okay. Believe in learning by doing. Third principle is mastering small skills first, right, so you remember you know, when you learn to write, first you learn how to write words, and then sentences, and then paragraphs, and pretty soon you are writing whole compositions. Okay, so uh, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to have you start off writing very small programs. Okay, but it's important to get those programs right. To get those pro to do those programs perfectly so that you can learn to get them right every time. So if you've done organized sports and if you can remember back to when you started, right, the important thing was you did something simple and you did it right and you practiced it over and over again until it became automatic. Okay. Right. Um, you remember it. Right? Remember your first steps in learning a musical instrument. Okay, you start very simple things. Okay, and then you got to where you get to some degree of expertise and facility by by repeating it. The first the first hundred times you do something, you have to think about it. By the hundred and first time, it's automatic. Okay, so our goal is to write well-designed programs. The second goal is to learn to explain and defend your designs. And we have our four learning principles, immersion, active reading, mastering small skills first, and practice makes perfect.